time for another unboxing. G'day, Glenn Morris here from the Smart Energy Lab. Today, we're unboxing this wee beastie. Let's get into it. hidden behind this 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 beastie uh let's just turn it around a bit <laughs> so check it out what we're looking at here is a portable generator as you can see it's pretty light 22 kilograms i just lifted it with one hand anyway um it's got a lot of details I want to run you through, but first I'm going to put this uh, down on the ground. It's a little bit heavy to have sitting on the table here while I'm trying to talk to you. Give me a moment. Today, I'm unboxing something a little bit unusual for a channel focused on renewable energy products, a small portable generator from Gentrax. Now, even though I'm committed to low emissions, renewable energy future, I have to admit there are times when the sun doesn't shine and power demand exceeds my solar and storage. So just a little bit of fossil fuel power can keep the lights on, even when the renewable energy sources have run out. So let's talk about the Gentrax GSX2200 inverter generator. What? What's an inverter generator? That sounds like two things. Well. Let me explain. Typically, a generator creates AC power by spinning an alternator at a fairly precise speed to create 240 volts and 50 hertz power. However, it's actually difficult to maintain a steady 50 hertz when the load changes. Uh, this can cause problems with sensitive electronics. Also, it requires that the motor runs at a constant speed, irrespective of load. Now, when you add an inverter function, basically it's uh, another piece of electronics to the uh, generator, uh, it means that the AC output of that alternator is first converted to DC, and then it is inverted to exactly 240 volts and 50 hertz, irrespective of load variations. It also means that when the loads are light, the motor can run at a much lower RPM and thus quieter. So in summary, an inverter generator gives you quality power from a small engine and <laughs> generally a lot quieter. So let's run through the features of this <laughs> small and portable inverter generator. It's got a pull start, but it also has electric start. Yep, now, not everyone's up to pulling a cord first thing in the morning to make their coffee uh, or charge up their battery. So it's got an electric start, which is pretty unusual for a small portable generator. It's got some easy maintenance features and oil replacement, and I'll run through some of these components here uh, in a minute. Uh, it's got a very quiet runtime, as I mentioned, because of that inverter function, it can run at low RPMs. And it produces pure sine wave output for really clean, stable power. The petrol capacity is to uh, 4.1 liters, and that works out to be about 4.8 hours at a 50% load. So running at about a kilowatt uh, for 4.8 hours off one tank of fuel. It weighs without fuel 22 kilograms. So as you saw, it's relatively easy to lug about. And it has a maximum rated output of 2.2 kilowatts, but a continuous rated output of two kilowatts. Its uh, output is 240 volts, as I mentioned, 50 hertz and uh, it also has some DC outputs. It's got a 12 volt uh, four amp output and two AC outputs and one USB port. So you can even charge your phone from this. The noise level is measured at seven meters at 58 dB. And I'm gonna run it outside and see what it sounds like. And the fuel type is your regular unleaded and uh, it's got a socket rating. That means that the, the sockets on the unit are rated at IP23. Now, let me explain what this IP23 is all about. Uh, IP stands for ingress protection. The first digit, the two, is protection against solid objects. And in this case, the two means objects larger than 12 and a half millimeters, i.e. a finger. 
It's even, there's a special thing called a test finger. It's rather creepy looking that you test to see if it meets uh, IP2X requirements. The second digit, the three, is protection against water. And a three, in this case, means protected against water sprayed at an angle of up to 60 degrees from vertical. So it's vertical for up to 60 degrees from vertical. Uh, that's typical of rain falling. But it doesn't mean you can just leave it out in the rain. Uh, it's okay for a little bit of rain, uh, but don't leave it out there and don't immerse it in water. So I'm looking forward to having a play with this unit and using it as part of my emergency backup power for our solar trailer. Maybe more on that later in another video. So let me run you through some of these items that were in the box. And like I say, it's a true unboxing, so I've never seen them. Uh, this is either an ear trumpet or a mouth trumpet, but I'm pretty sure it's for filling the oil. Nice and long, so it's easy to pour the oil in. And they even provide the correct oil. Look at that. So you get the oil, the filler, you get a nice little waterproof cover just to keep your uh, generator dry and, and dust free. And then we've got a little toolkit here. Wow, okay. I love it when they provide you the tools you actually need to do some basic maintenance, like, you know, changing spark plugs. So let's have a look. Speaking of changing spark plugs, we have a spark plug spanner and it's so like you can use the screwdriver included as part of that leverage. There's a screwdriver with um, the standard kind of Phillips style head. Oh my gosh, and a spare spark plug. <laughs> Even spare parts, that's pretty cool. We've got um, a sort of cigarette socket type 12 volt um, uh, plug with some uh, alligator clips on the end so you can charge a small battery uh, directly off 12 volts. So that could be you're trying to keep your car alive because you've left it at the airport for too long or you've been camping in one spot for a month and your car battery's gone flat. And there is a, uh, this is a fairly standard connector for DC outputs. So you could plug this in uh, and maybe charge a portable power station as well with this uh, DC plug. So really nice to have some um, extra bits. And what is this? We've got a little, nice little box here. Just trying to get into it, little bag. And if I can unzip it, there we go. Ooh. What have we got here? <laughs> There's too many presents in this little uh, package. Oh my gosh, it's kind of like your ultimate survival kit, I think. It's got a compass. You probably can't see it from there, but it's got a little compass. Uh, it's got a, uh, looks like it's got a light. Yeah, it's got, oh my gosh, is this a USB starter? Yes, it's got USB ports um, and how do I turn the light on? Probably hold that down for a bit. Well, it's got a lot. So we'll probably have to read the manual to find out what all of the things are that it does. But there you go. Um, you've got a, a little portable power pack as part of the kit. I just love the compass. <laughs> There's actually a really good use for a compass, by the way. If you happen to have a portable power station, like one of the ones I reviewed from uh, Voltex, with the Voltex uh, portable uh, solar panels, then sometimes it's useful to know which way is north. And so you've got a compass here that you can orientate your solar panels to the north. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you the next one. Check it.